What is up, guys? The man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here, bringing you a new game mode, Face Off, 2v2s with my buddy Skidmark, and we're going to be playing on the map Getaway. And I'm actually going to be getting a Moab, because these kids, and I don't mean to call them kids, I mean these players on the other team, they honestly, and I don't want to call them noobs or nubs or anything like that, they just were extremely new to, the, new to the game, if I can be that nice at all. They were not good at all. One of them was sniping on Getaway in 2v2, which is kind of like rare. You don't see too many snipers running around all the time besides quick scopers and stuff like that. And then the other one was just trying to run around with a pistol, which I had decided to take a lot of advantage of and go for my tryhard Moab. And I actually end up going 63-3 and three this game, but you guys won't be seeing the whole thing. You'll just be seeing my first Moab streak. I don't get a double Moab, but I die two or three off the double Moab and then two or three off the triple Moab again. But I feel like eventually I will be able to get a triple or double Moab because that's something that I really have set my goals. But today we're going to be talking about tips. And the tips are st staying sneaky in face-off. Because the whole point of in face-off, I find it to be like, just stay hidden. Don't let the other team find you. I mean, they can find you and you guys can shoot back and forth. But the ways I like to stay hidden and not be able to get shot are using a suppressor on your gun. As you guys can see right here, I'm using a submachine gun, which is very vital to use in 2v2s and face-offs because it's going to be very, very close range because they added four new maps that came out yesterday for the PS3. If you have paid for Elite, which is $50 a year, I, I suggest you get it if you're a hardcore Call of Duty player, but if you're just a weekend warrior, probably not. Just stick to buying the map packs. But it, if you do buy Elite, it, it is going to be saving you some money. And the... Face-Off did come out today by the time you guys are seeing this for PS3, and I am on the PS3. And I like to use Dead Silence to be able to stay hidden too. That is something that so many people do not understand. So many people actually have headsets that you actually wouldn't believe it. Most people do. I myself have a headset. Eventually going to get Astros, but right now I'm just sticking with Turtle Beaches. And that is something that if you can just turn your game volume up a little bit more than usual in Face Off, you can hear their footsteps if they're not using Dead Silence. But you can also hear their footsteps if you're using SitRep Pro, even if they are using Dead Silence. Because if you didn't know, they recently buffed up SitRep Pro so you could hear Dead Silence people just as loud as normal. So a lot of people have been starting to use that, and I either suggest SitRep Pro or Dead Silence Pro. Another thing I like to use is Assassin, just in case they get to call in any UAVs. I like to stay hidden on the radar, and I like it so they... People People like to use portable radars, so I like to stay away from those portable radars, and Assassin keeps you away from not showing up on the portable radars, which is something that really makes you a lot more hidden and a lot easier and a lot harder to target. So I also like to use two attachments on the MP7, so I can definitely just, I don't know, take them out fast and suppress her in rapid fire. But my overall thoughts in the face-off game modes, it is 1v1s, 2v2s, and 3v3s, and I have played all of them, played on every map, so I can make an overall guess and tell you guys what I think about it. I think this is such a good and new thing to the Call of Duty community. It's really going to live liven it up again and then same with Black Ops too but you guys can see there is kill confirmed in Team Deathmatch in this. There's no domination or search and destroy but it's only kill confirmed in Team Deathmatch. I much prefer kill confirmed because it's a lot. It's it's fast paced but it doesn't go by as fast. Team Deathmatch goes by really fast because in 2v2s it limits up to 30 pickups, tags or 30 kills in Team Deathmatch and in 1v1s I think it's 15 and then in 3v3s it's 50 for kills or uh confirm tags so yeah it's been quad mft guys i'm almost about to pick up the moab you guys have to try out face off there are two free maps for you guys so everybody can play even if you don't want to spend any money you can go on there on xbox live ps3 and download them it's a lot of fun you guys can always try to stick in a party because it's really hard to play solo unless you're playing 1v1s because then you kind of have to play solo because you can't really play in a party in 1v1s. I know that'd be cool to 1v1 your friends and still get points for it. I guess you can join session or something like that. I don't know. I'm not suggesting you guys to cheat at all or anything, but it's been Quad MFT. You can like this video if you enjoyed this gameplay and commentary. You can subscribe to see more. You can check out my channel. Follow me on Twitter at Quad MFT, giving you daily updates about when I'm uploading, when I'm rendering, when I'm getting a gameplay, anything you guys are willing to know. So it has been Quad MFT again. And it's been a good time. See you guys later. I'm out. Peace.